Okay, so here's one of the hermit crabs. It's like, it was one of the rescues. It's still getting healthy. Uh, let's see. It had its first molt with us. And here he comes. That's such a thoughtful hermit crab. It just loves pinching, doesn't it? I mean, I should have more thoughtful hermit crabs. Ow! That really hurts, little guy. That really hurts. It does. You know what? I'm gonna pause this video and take your picture. Alright, here's a nicer hermit crab. Yeah, this one's a nice one. Yes, it is. It doesn't want to pinch me, because it loves me. Come on out. Love you. So sweet. I was recording a video in time lapse, but, so yeah, this is her pinch a lot. Um... He's, he's really strong. He's like pushing me. And he is probably one of the more active crabs even when he is out of the tank. He's not on his tank. He's on top of the fish tank. Um, like as you can see, he'll, he'll just jump out of his shell. Actually, is he a girl or a boy? I forget. Might actually be a girl. It's not really coming out of the show all the way, so it's hard to tell. Alright, con yourself. It's a girl. I don't know if you can see the two dots up there. But yeah, so <laughs> um, this is Serpent a lot. Love my little Serpent a lot. You can see those tufts of hair. And here's one of the micros I rescued this summer. Um, as you can see, they have gotten considerably larger. They used to be the size of my fingernail. And now he is about the size, a little bit smaller than my thumb. So, um, he is really cute. He was just out of his shell, but he didn't really feel like coming out. I wonder if I could, like, look up through the glass. Yeah, that's not going to work. So... Here he comes. Oh, how cute is that? So precious. Look at that face. Look at that little face. So cute because she has such a big little shell. <laughs> Alright, so this little baby is going back into the tank. Very small compared to her tank. As you can see. Okay, so here is one of my crabs. Obviously, not too happy. Um, some of them, like if I put something in between her, in between her fingers, she's gonna snap it. Uh, I mean, claws and fingers. You know the idea. Like I don't really want her to snap on to anything. So you know, I'm not. I'm not gonna show you. I really wanted her to come out. Though, because she is really pretty. Guess she doesn't want to come out. <laughs> but <laughs> there goes her hermit crab just fell. Um, I'd want to show you guys Sammy because you guys know that she was, she was surface molting. Um, she has sand all over her, let throw off.
So she was surface molding. And her exoskeleton finally hardened. Um, so here she is. She's not doing all that well, especially with all her problems. Oh my god, her eye is back. So I'm hand feeding her now. So hi Sammy. Hi. Hi baby girl. So, um, she's not doing all that well, so I've been having to hand feed her. Um, but she, as you guys know, is my oldest hermit crab, so, um, everybody wish her luck. And wish her a speedy recovery. See, she's not really going into her shell all the way, which isn't very good. It could be signs of a surface, uh, of a molt deformity, or she could just need a bigger shell. Um, doesn't really appear to be that way, but it is very possible. Actually, it does look like she does need a bigger shell. Um, I'm going to try hand feeding her a bit again. Um, hey, baby girl. Hey, it's okay. I just feel really bad for her. Okay, so I just spilled some water out of her shell for her. And as you can see, she's moving around a bit more. Um, she did find a way. Here she is, here she is. As you can see, she can kind of walk, so. Let's see how this goes. She found a way to get out of the molting bin. Um, because she was in a bin with her exoskeleton. And climb over there and dig a hole. So if she was able to do that, I mean, she's not completely hopeless. Um, these aren't these are not molten crabs. I just had them in here for a, a second so that way um, I can show them to you. So here's one of them. And somewhere in there, the other crabs are in their tank somewhere hiding. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour and the crabs have an upgrade. So we have shell shops right there. And salt water right there, fresh water right there, their food bowl, kind of empty. So with wet container, there's rocks, hides, a lot of substrate. You can't really see the substrate because it's dark over here. Um there's a lot over here, a lot over there. But they do have an upgrade. Um here's some. Can't show you all the crabs because a lot of them are either underground or a lot of them like to hide in these shell shops. Especially since the heating pad is right here. Against the entire tank, so I really like that. Um yeah, other than that, I don't really know what else to tell you. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm doing good.